Assalamu alaikum. One of the practical questions you expect biology paper 3 it will look like that of the video I'm going to show you here. So follow this and you will thank me later. Welcome to this lesson. We are dealing with biology Part 3, 2021. Sorry for interruption. Sorry, Marim. That was the practical for 2020, the corona period that was done 2021 April. That is 2020. So this practical is for 2020 students, the COVID-19 period. As you can see, question 1 says you are provided with a piece of specimen N and the following reagents specimen N was a potato and you have been also provided with the following apparatus three test tubes 10 milliliter measuring cylinder and a scalpel let's see the procedure label the test tubes one two three macerate or chop into tiny pieces half of the specimen n place equal amount of macerated specimen into test tube one and two cut the remaining half of the specimen into two equal half pieces place one into test tube three and release Reserve the remaining piece. Add about 2 cm cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid into test tube 1. Add about 2 cm of sodium hydroxide into each of the test tubes 2 and 3. Add about 5 cm cubed of hydrogen peroxide into each of the 3 test tubes 1, 2, 3. Observe the amount of the effervescence in each test tube and complete the table. First of all, student should be able to know what is testing. This, when you see hydrogen peroxide, you automatically know that is you are testing for enzyme catalyst. Now, let's start the procedure again. You are provided with these reagents. In you, when you have labeled the test tubes, to macerate is to cut into small pieces. Place an equal amount of the pieces of specimen into test tube 1 and 2. And then cut the remaining half of the specimen into two equal parts. Let's see the content in... Test tube 1, you have been told, add about 10, 2 cm cubed of dilute HCl. So, content in test tube 1 is HCl plus the macerate specimen N plus the macerate, macerate that you cut into small pieces plus or oh, macerate of specimen N plus water. What is your observation? First of all, when H you see HCl being added to, and you know you are at testing for enzyme catalyst, the acid denatures the enzyme. So, here, amount of effervescence, there was no effervescence. No effervescence because the enzyme was denatured or you can light it to effervescence both are acceptable for the explanation you'll see the acid denatured the action the acid denatured <coughs> the action of enzyme 
hence there was no was no effervescence understood that's good to test tube 2 the content you are told in test tube 2 you add sodium hydroxide into test tube 2 and then hydrogen peroxide plus the mercenates now the content is sodium hydroxide plus mercenates for specimen n n plus the hydrogen peroxide <coughs> now when you see now the alkaline the you have seen the acid denatures the enzyme action and now the alkaline that is the suitable sweet that is the suitable that is suitable for action of an enzyme now here you have seen we have hydrogen peroxide and we have the sodium hydroxide here there will be more effervescence and your explanation will be the alkaline medium of the suitable the alkaline median was suitable for the action the action of enzyme hence there was more hence more effervescence hence more effervescence yes let's go to test tube 3 and see in test tube 3 you are told test tube 3 you are told you add sodium hydroxide and then place one piece of the test tube and reserve the remaining piece so those the, the remaining that you cut here you are placing in test tube 3 now the content content in test tube 3 is sodium hydroxide plus a cube that you can cut in there cube of specimen n and hydrogen hydrogen peroxide here you are explaining your your observation will be mid moderate effervescence moderate effervescence this is because remember that <coughs> large 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 remember that large bodied organism have less surface area to volume ratio while big while small organisms have large surface area to volume ratio now that that content you should have in your mind in order to answer the explanation here now we kept a cube and in test tube 2 we kept two pieces that we chop this this one have large surface area to volume ratio well this because it's big has small surface area to volume ratio that's what you need to know now your explanation will be less less surface area was exposed was exposed to was exposed for enzyme enzymatic action yeah in B you are told use the reagent provided to test for the food substance present for specimen N from A 
observe and record observation in the table and you are there in this paper they were provided with iodine solution so your procedure will be put 2 ml or 2 centimeters cube of the food substance in a test tube add 2 drops of iodine solution and shake that is the procedure you should specify these two drops don't say add equal amount you say add two drops the observation will be a blue black a blue black solution a blue black color sorry color was observed now automatically the conclusion is starch present yeah in question two we are provided with photographs e f k and h together with specimen g g j l and m these ones they were given because they are not here they were given now g uh, okay, let's see use the observable features in the photographs and the, sp and the specimen provided Pla place with a reason each of the following organisms in their respective kingdom of division or phylum g it was a plant plant therefore and it was a seed bearing plant therefore it was from division spermatophyte a reason you, you, you are to write seed because it is seed bearing e e we are provided here this e these are the molds and the molds and they are from kingdom fungi because they are they feed on dead organic matter you can write because they are sapro because they are, it was this from kingdom fungi because they are saprophytic or they feed on feed on dead matters m m we are given it was also from it was like a fruit a leaf of a fruit fruit this is from division spama to fight reason was because presence of remains of fruits presence of remains of fruits or seeds yes go to the to h h you are being provided h is here now you are asked the film that is from film ardro Poda, arthropoda reason because has exoskeleton has exoskeleton go to be state two features in the following organisms that make them to be placed in different classes f and k f and k 
So I are given here. <coughs> F is this a human being? And this is a crocodile. Now this is from class mammalia. This is from class reptilia. Should be able to know the characteristics of both classes in order to know to answer this question. <coughs> F you see F F has F has far or this body the body of specimen F has or excuse you see body of specimen F is covered with hair is covered with hair while body of specimen K is covered with scales is covered with scales <coughs> now J and M they were given this M M was a maize leaves of maize maize while J leaves of beans leaves of beans J now the that the characteristics that make them to be class to be classified in their classes is J has broad leaves with network veins with network veins while M as narrow leaves with parallel veins. And yeah, now in C, make a label diagram of specimen L. Specimen L was maze. Now you should be able to know how to draw maze. Explain. The difference in mode of reproduction exhibited by E and J. E and J. We have seen we are provided with E, but J they were given. J was a flowering plant. Now <coughs> J was leaves of beans. Now we'll say mode of in e reproduces asexually because it's from kingdom fungi e while while j reproduces sexually j produces sexually yeah.